Well, we're uh, counting counting hay usage. Um, been needing to do this, get an idea of what I'm going through on hay. And main reason um, that I'm counting is because I got a guy that wants some hay. Um, <clears throat> I got a hold of him back actually in like September. Asked him if he'd be interested in some hay, 75 bales actually. He said he was and everything. And now I sold hay to this guy last year and everything worked fine. And um, I was happy with the deal and everything. And well, he said he was, and I told him I'd just like to have it out of here by the first of the year. He said that was fine. Um, never heard anything from him. I actually called him and told him I got a few more bills if he, you know, if he wants more than the 75. He said, he said probably. Um, and I didn't really push the issue about getting him out of here. Um, cause I wasn't too concerned about it. I, I dealt with the guy last year and I kind of know him and stuff. So, but anyways, um, he never came and got him. And so I had to actually, these are the, these bales right here. I had to put them outside and, uh, but he actually called last night and wants them still interested. So, which is good. But I need to see how many I can sell. Um, I know I can sell the 75. Um, I just actually counted all my hay my between the baleage, the sorghum, and the dry hay. Um, I'm at 415 bales. Now that's not counting. You see over there, um, if you can see it. Two end cap bales, there's another end cap bale up there, there's a few end cap bales and stuff like that. It's not counting them. So um so I got a little leeway there. But uh last time I did my bale count and bale usage, I was uh I was right at uh I was a point nine bales to the, a day is what I was feeding, so I figured a bale a day. Well I have moved up, I'm up to actually 1.2 bales a day now. So that's almost a half a bale extra a day. So uh, so that's why I'm glad I do this, count my usage and stuff. And I have said before, I like to keep enough hay to take me all the way into April, or into August. Um, Cause you never know what the summer is gonna bring. Um, and granted, it's going to change, too. I'm feeding all baleage right now. Them are 4 by 4 bales. And um, once I go to all dry hay and the baleage is gone, um, it, I would assume, I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to drop down to about a bale a day because they are bigger bales and they don't eat it as much and stuff. So, um, but I figured it out. I have... 156 that I can sell safely round bales of hay um, now these bales here there's 90 in these three rows all the way back there's 90 in there and um, so what my thought is is to basically is these I sell a lot of my hay to horse beat I shouldn't say horse people but horse people that have horses and they obviously don't want this sitting out. Um, and this is a dairy farmer that I'm talking with. So I'm hoping he'll take all 90 of these. that will get them out of my hair. Um, I'll be happy. Um, then I had another person actually today just get a hold of me. And they want to know, they want... 50 bales and I actually just when that guy called me yesterday I've been meaning to I took my ads down for hay um, because I don't really 
Um, I don't need to be selling any right now. I don't, I'm not looking to sell any right now. I can, but I like to hold on to it until, oh, end of February, March is when people are really looking for it. And then you get a better idea what hay prices are and stuff like that. So, um, so I haven't really been pushing to get rid of any hay. I've been selling a few bales here and there, <clears throat> but that person got a hold of me and they want 50 bales, um, but they want the stuff that's in the barn and for horses. So if I do that, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. That's pretty much gonna eat up majority of the hay that I can sell for the year. And that's gonna put me a little tighter than I would like. Cause in case I jump up, I gotta run some more numbers. In case I jump up to a bale and a half a day or so, um, that'll put me kinda tight on the carryover I wanna have. But I also have to figure in too, I'm gonna be selling feeders in the spring. I'll have a lot from about May until basically the fall. But until I start haying again, I'm gonna have a lot smaller cattle. They're not gonna be eating as much. So it'll be mainly started calves. I think I'll have one gr group 18 that'll be around that probably three or 400 pound mark or so. But uh, so we'll see. I think I have a little more, little more leeway there than I thought I did. But, uh, or that I'm figuring on. So, I got to give that, uh, them a call back and let them know what I am using for hay and, and what I can sell, I guess. Um, so, but I'm definitely thinking them, them 90 that are sitting outside there, um, I'll sell them and I'll have to decide if I want to sell the other ones quite yet. Um, but then again, if you got a sale, I pass it up. So if I can get it rid of everything I basically need to get rid of in one shot, then I guess life's good. So, um, but like I said, my bill usage could almost always go down too. So, uh, I need to take some pictures of this stuff and send it to a guy. And then uh, give a guy a call back and see what we got. So, yeah, I just uh, wanted to make a video and uh, basically my hay usage. I'll leave that open. I got to get some going there. So, and what I've been, how much I've been feeding. Um, I actually, where I've switched over on the other side of the barn, um, started feeding um i fed a bale of actually sorghum last the last night i think it was and i figured it would last them two days but they got it pretty much cleaned up so uh so i gotta feed a bale of bales tonight <coughs> but uh yeah so i actually been normally i feed them two bales right away but uh, I've tried, and I want this. What I wanted to do was feed them a bale of sorghum, let them eat that up, and then feed them a bale of baleage. First cutting this stuff here, so it seems to be working, and uh, so far so good. So, yeah, um, moved up in my hay usage a little bit, but that's why I. Take account of everything randomly every so often and figure out how much I'm using. So we'll uh, see what happens and do some more figure and see if we uh, get rid of some hay. So I'll let you guys know. All right, we'll talk to you later.